And I also have Chris Clawson in my office. He's one of our farm realtors with Real Estate Center. And uh, Chris, how long have you been a realtor for? Um, just over 20 years now. Nice. And um, what changes have you seen in the marketplace over your 20 years as a realtor? Um, basically, in my 20 years on the farm market, we have seen steady increase with several years deep increases. Um, it has not gone down five cents in the last 20 years ever. Wow, that's uh, pretty good news for farmers. Um, is now an especially good time for farmers to sell? Well, here's my thought on that. With the amount of money that our government is spending, even before its crisis, and now on this COVID-19 crisis, um, we're going to be so short of money and the deficit is going to be so great. So some of the advantages that farmers have, for example, the capital gains exemption is over a million dollars tax free when you sell. Uh, and both husband and wife, if you have it in personal names today, will qualify for that. How long will that stay? Nobody knows. But it is there today, if you're thinking of selling, that is over a million dollars each, tax-free. Wow, that's amazing. And so, Chris, if farmers do want to sell, uh, what are certain things they should be prepared for uh, as they're getting ready to sell and what might they might see will help with soon? Well, of course, you have to prepare for what the tax implications are. Uh, today's farms are worth mostly quite a few millions. And even if you have two or over two million capital gains exemption, you might still have to pay a certain amount of taxes. So the accountant should have a plan and should have a number what is payable after the transaction is completed. Very important. Good, good. And um, uh, when, are we seeing lots of offers come in for farmers at this time? Well, well the demand for farmland is uh, ever increasing and the demand for food is increasing. Um, yeah. Um, supply and demand dictates price will probably continue to be strong or even go higher than it is today. Good. Good. Is there any other um, messages you have out there for? Um, At some point, of course, what we see lately is um, several estates where the siblings have gone off, got educated, have a good job. There's nobody there to farm. And at some point, people do decide, maybe we sell and divvy up the proceeds and everybody carry on with their life. Um, that, of course, is a certain scenario if there is no next generation to take over. Uh, very... Um, doable and probably a very good time to do it now if that is the situation the family is in. Very good. Okay, Chris, well, I thank you very much for answering my questions this afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, you are certainly full of knowledge and a great realtor to work with on the farm front. Mm -hmm. um, so if anyone's out there listening, we hope that you'll give Chris a call if you have any more questions about farm real estate. Um, thanks for being here and have a great afternoon, everyone. Thank you. That was short and sweet. I like it.